In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys new exciting Blender add-ons that can enhance multiple aspects of your 3D workflow. Whether it is creating realistic textures, refining complex models, or managing your projects more efficiently, I'm confident these add-ons will offer something valuable to your process. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with Global Skin, which is a tool that brings incredible realism to your characters. But how? It helps you achieve this photorealistic skin with little to no effort since this add-on is basically a set of skin shaders and the good thing is that it is really popular and a lot of people find it very useful. In fact, I believe it is the top selling product in Blender Market at the moment of making this video. So Global Skin comes packed with features offering support for all major software like MetaHuman, Human Generator, Dust3D and Character Creator 4 allowing you to use almost every reliable 3D character out there. Also, this add-on comes with over 70 textures and tones, in addition to multiple displacement options for body parts, and the ability to mix and match these elements, giving you all the tools you're gonna need to make any type of skin for every type of ethnicity, which can honestly cover a lot of projects. And of course, we can't forget that you can add intricate skin details like freckles, blemishes, veins, and even makeup. And these little details and imperfections can make a huge difference in achieving that human look. And from what I can see, what really sets Global Skin apart is the level of customization it offers, since you can easily adjust everything from skin tones to the specific colors of body areas like lips, elbows, and knees. Plus, new features like improved scattering, microscope displacements, and real-time rendering to speed up the workflow while always maintaining high-quality results. And of course, you're gonna use an intuitive interface which helps you tweak your settings and get the results that you desire. Let's switch it up a little bit and focus more on something that is equally vital for 3D artists. And I'm talking about UVs. Univ or UniV is a blender add-on which is gonna make the painful task of UV unwrapping a little bit easier to work around. And it does so by packing a couple of powerful features that can handle snapping, stitching, and welding your islands. So I think this tool has you covered. And one of its standout features is Quick Snap, which allows you to snap UV elements to vertices, edge centers, and face centers, offering precise snapping and you can switch between island or element mode, giving you full control over how you want to manipulate your UVs. But I cannot forget about the weld and stitch tools, which are gonna be perfect for connecting islands or vertices. So you can easily join pieces while preserving proportions, making seamless UV mapping more straightforward. Plus, with features like Relax, Quadrify, and Straight, you can align your UVs and make them neat and easy to pack with no problems. In addition, the Add-on Sort and Distribute function allow you to organize your UV islands, ensuring compactness or even spacing depending, of course, on your needs. And all of this comes with an easy-to-navigate interface as you can see, so you probably need to give it a shot. Now, let's take a look at an add-on called Select Polygons by Angle, which is gonna help you with precise modeling, especially if you do it a lot. So this tool is all about helping you select polygons based on their angle, which is incredibly useful when dealing with complex geometry or when you need to control transitions between smooth and sharp edges. And this is especially important if you're working on card surfaces or you want to maintain clean and sharp transitions. So if this is the case, this add-on will simplify the task. Also, it lets you set the angle threshold to automatically select polygons with that specific angle range. This is gonna be perfect when you wanna keep selections consistent across your models. And the interface integrates right into Blender's tab, I mean the Tools tab, making it easy to adjust settings like angle increments and the threshold directly within the viewport. And the add-on allows for efficient selection where you can hold shift to add to your selections without losing previous polygons. So if you have struggled selecting specific area in your 3D model before, then this is something that you probably should consider. Now, it is now to add more control to your scene with Align Toolkit. The add-on, generally speaking, simplifies the process of aligning and distributing objects in Blender. Whether you need to line up items perfectly or ensure evenly spaced elements, this tool is gonna give you some tricks. 
and this is particularly helpful when working on projects that especially require accuracy, like architectural visualization or mechanical design. And the tool also allows you to quickly center objects, saving you time that would be otherwise spent rotating and adjusting by hand. Also, you have the distribute tool, which evenly spaces objects across your scene or along a chosen axis. So I think this helps you avoid the hassle of manually placing items, and this add-on does the work for you in a few clicks, which is just amazing. And by the way, you will find preferences that will let you choose panel location and behavior settings, so it will fit right into your workflow. After organizing your scene with Align Toolkit, it is now time to explore a tool called Expert Curve Modeling for creating complex and flexible shapes. The add-on does this using Bezier Curves, a technique that is often tricky to nail, especially in traditional modeling. And one of the interesting features that it comes with is that it allows you to control not just the overall model, but individual segments and vertices as well, with four dedicated modes, which are Vertex, Segment, Curve, and Model. With these, I believe you're gonna have flexibility, and a lot of it. The hotkeys the add-on offers also are gonna help you quickly jump between modes, making your workflow faster and smoother. And that's why we have add-ons in the first place, right? And from what I can see, the add-on tackles one of the biggest problems with curved models, which is getting into a proper mesh without bloating the polygon count or messing up the shading. The interesting thing is that the add-on is still in alpha, and it already shows great potential, and the developer plans to include additional features like boolean operations and mesh grid conversions in the future updates. Now, let's move on to a simple but useful add-on, which is called Restore State. This add-on is designed for 3D artists who like to save their progress in steps while modeling. So, whether you are working in the edit or object mode, adding modifiers, or adjusting materials, this add-on kind of makes it easy for you to go back and forth between the previous states of your models in a short period of time, and you can do that efficiently as well. So you can save the current state of your object, its mesh, modifiers, materials, location, and rotation all at once. And each time you make changes, you can save a new state, which is then listed in the panel for easy access. This actually makes going back to any previous state as simple as pressing the restore button. And the add-on also allows you to clean unwanted states and rename objects without losing your saved states and even toggle between objects that have saved states, showing them in the wireframe for better visibility. So generally speaking, this tool is super handy for anyone who wants to save their modeling progress over time or if you want to go back in time as well. Now, let's talk about an interesting add-on called Shapekeys++, which is all about making your workflow smoother and faster by giving you control over shape keys without needing to switch modes. And on top of that, you will no longer have to drag your keys up and down, because you can duplicate, mirror, invert, or blend shape keys right where you need them in a short period of time. The add-on also includes global sliders that allow you to modify the value of multiple shape keys simultaneously, which is gonna be perfect for when you are working with intricate animations like facial expressions. In addition to features like lock and unlock and mute and unmute to add an extra layer of control, which I think ensures that managing complex animations is gonna be hassle-free or at least as hassle-free as possible. On a side note, Shape Keys++ plus plus has been tested to handle up to 50 shape keys and 50,000 polygons without any noticeable performance issues. However, if you are working on larger meshes, be prepared to see some slowdowns as Blender may need extra time to process the operations, so keep that in mind. And there you have it guys. If you found any of these add-ons useful, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.